What's up guys, welcome back to Review Space and today I'm going to count down the top 10 best and worst Wii U games of the year 2012. And let's begin, let's start it off with the top 10 best Wii U games of the year and all this is by the way going to be according to the meta scores of Metacritic. So, you know, this is going to be a legit type of scoring. Uh, it's not just going to be my personal, like, opinion, because it's a lot more than that. I think that you got to take in what a lot of other reviewers um, feel about these games. So, let's begin. Number one, best Wii U game of the year is Mighty Switch Force Hyper Drive Edition. It has a meta score of 87. Very strong 87 score. And... Congratulations to Mighty Switch Force. I believe it's a download game, and uh, so you're probably going to want to check it out. Alright, number two, Mass Effect 3 Special Edition, uh, score of 87. Actually, it's pretty much a tie, but that's, a, that's still a really high score, and I guess it's the runner-up technically, but it's the same, uh, same score as Mighty Switch Force. Mass Effect 3. Special Edition, Wii U, coming in at number 2. Number 3, Assassin's Creed 3 with a meta score of 86. Props to Assassin's Creed for uh, ranking this high. And definitely a good move by Ubisoft to include an Assassin's Creed game on the Wii U. Looks like they def it definitely paid off in terms of uh, getting a critically acclaimed score. Alright, number 4, my personal favorite. Darksiders 2, uh, with a meta score of 85, very strong showing, um, can't wait for Darksiders 3, that's all I'm gonna say about that. <gasps> Number 5, trying to director's cut with a meta score of 85, alright, yeah, he, trying man, you know, these are these games that might necessar not necessarily be the high budget high profile mainstream games but with scores that high and the Wii U really just begging for any type of quality game it's pretty much mandatory to play these these type of games at least give it a shot number six Batman Arkham City Armored Edition has an 84 meta score so still a pretty pretty good showing you know for an Arkham City game uh, a late release for this uh, Wii U version. Number 7, COD Black Ops 2 has an 84. So, uh, you know, the Wii U getting a Black Ops game, a Call of Duty game rather, uh, Black Ops 2, that's that's something else. That's Nintendo is finally catching up. I wonder how much it sold though for the Wii U version, you know, because the, <laughs> that's the thing with Call of Duty is that they, it sells high on like the 360. It sells like millions and millions of copies, just, you know, like 10 million you know, in a single day, but even with a PS3, it doesn't sell nearly as much, so there's something to that, to the 360 culture, the Xbox Live culture of gaming, you know, it, that's a unique uh, gaming culture in and of itself. It's separate. The PS3 Call of Duty players, it's different. The Wii U has its own, you know, different, unique uh, set of players. Alright, number eight. New Super Mario Bros. U has an 83, hasn't really moved up. This list has pretty much stayed the same the past couple of weeks, honestly. Uh, so Mario still making a top 10 list for a brand new Nintendo system. It's almost like criminally just wrong for it to not have a Mario game on a freaking new Nintendo system. You know, it just doesn't make any sense, so. Number 9, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Wii U Edition. An 82 meta score, an 82, 82. Number 10, Sonic All Stars Racing Transformed with a 79. I'm just happy that it made the top 10 of the year. Sonic All Stars Racing Transformed. Although I do hear it's got glitches and bugs compared to the other uh, versions. Okay. Now let's move on to the top 10 worst games for the Wii U of 2012. These are the lowest rated games. Let's begin. Number 1, Game Party Champions with a meta score of 31. It's a fucking party game. Stay away from it. Um, the Wii U 
Good god, it's getting plagued. I mean, it's, it's gonna be plagued with these shitty-ass game collections. Uh, these party collections, rather. They, you know, this crappy shovelware. You can just see it, man. So, let's just pray that it doesn't get nearly as much as the, the Wii, but, uh, man, I doubt it. Because Nintendo is still that family-friendly crap. They, you know, they still want to do that Wii-style marketing. Number two, ESPN Sports Connection with a 32... Um, ESPN Sports Connection sucks. Don't buy it. Number three, Tank 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 with a score of 48. Uh, Tank 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 apparently sucks major. Don't try that. Number four is Rabbids Land with a 53. Rabbids Land sucks because it's rabid freaking franchise. You know that that Rayman Rabbids thing was a fail to begin with, man. Number five. Sing Party with a meta score of 53. It's a singing game. What do you expect? Number six, Disney Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two. A little bit surprised with this. Meta score of 59. 59 isn't like a failure, but it's still pretty bad. You know, that's below a 60, which is like 40 over 40% crap. So, number seven. Transformers Prime the Game, meta score of 60, not very impressive. And number 8, Warriors Orochi 3 Hyper, with a meta score of 64, pretty much sucks. Um, number 9, Chasing Aurora, Chasing Aurora, 63 meta score, stay away from Chasing Aurora. And number 10, to round out this list of the worst games of 2012, Just Dance 4, meta score of 66, why am I not surprised? Alright, so that's it, the top 10 best and worst Wii U games of the year, 2012, hopefully next year. Like I said, wait a year until you get a Wii U if you're skeptical about it, because by then there's, gonna, there's bound to be some better games. Um, speaking of games that's not coming out for the Wii U, Bioshock Infinite is not planned for the Wii U. I thought it was going to be. It, I, I think they advertised it like in E3. Man. Yeah, it just, it just joins this long list of games that's not getting a Wii U release. Which, you know, the Wii U needs. The Wii U could use that big boost of third-party support. That's actually, you know, anticipated games. But that's pretty much it for this episode of Review Space. Uh, that's it for my, this is gonna be my final Wii U kind of recap kind of thing of the year, I think. Uh, this, that's pretty much it. Um, there's nothing else I can talk about. They don't have a lot of games coming out. I don't think there's gonna be any more games later this year. You know, I'm not sure, but that's pretty much it. Till next time, ciao.